changed politics, I think. I think yes, that's certain. He, but I mean the respect people hold and treat the office of the presidency in the role. There is no respect in, in for, things like giving the Medal of Honor and things like state dinners in the formalities and the traditions. It depends on if you like them or not. It, it from what I judge, because there's people who absolutely they won't even call him pre, like president. You'll just not hear my Trump president. today. Right. Trump the, the the news media too. Well, you'll hear it on the radio. Trump today. I'm like. He's the fucking president. I mean, have have a little respect. Yeah, I mean, he he is the president. But there, there's not. that. No, the, Why the president kills people? The president is taking our liberties. The president is King George uh, in 1775. I mean, I, I don't think that we have to respect the presidency. I don't think that we need to respect the president. I don't think we should respect the Congress. These are people that do not actually reflect American values. They reflect the worst in American values. I don't respect people who lie. I don't respect people who are inauthentic. I don't respect people that steal. I don't respect people that murder. I don't respect people that do that. So why should I lend this patriotic bullshit notion that I need to respect the president when I don't believe in anything that he's doing? The, the, because he's still the president. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It doesn't matter. I, I'm, I'm of the mindset that you, if you don't believe uh, – I, read, I read the Declaration of Independence – Every Fourth of July, and nerd, <laughs> shut up, cat. What and and what it basically says is that if you don't like your rulers, you stand up and you walk out of the room and you just start your own country. You, if we don't like the government that we have, we have the ability to change it completely. So, I don't respect the presidency. I don't respect Donald Trump, and I I I respected the man that Obama was. But and, why? But why? Obama arguably was worse. He was eight years, and it's only been six months of Trump. Worse for liberty than Donald Trump has been so far. Because Donald, why would you respect okay. Obama? Because he I, was a politician, and I respect, Obama didn't lie? I think he's a man. I think he has good character. Oh, that's bullshit. But I don't think that he has <laughs> – uh, I don't think that his policies were in any way, shape, or, or form good. I don't think that Donald Trump is – Well, th- what, ma- what matters then? Is the policy or the character? Substance or style? Because – to me, it's it's what's actually being done. But what I'm saying is that it doesn't it doesn't matter if the man I agree I agree with you on a, that. If the man is a good man or a shit lord, like Donald <laughs> Trump, the president. But if he's the, doing something good and he's a shit lord, he's still good. It's still a good. Does it country. rob it of its morality? What what what? what There's no such thing as morality has, in what that. What has Donald Trump done that has been good, other than Neil Gorsuch, which uh, is just uh, a, one thing? A, what what has he done that has been good? There the has been regulatory reforms. Have He's, have we actually seen any kind of? We have the impact? slowing is like is enormous compared to the growth of the last four administrations. Okay, at this point, so it's not been like it's been a repeal, but it has been basically a basically a, a stop in the dam. So that's a great little drip in the bucket. It is. No, I mean, but I mean, <laughs> that's liberty. Honestly, that's for, a little bit more for liberty. That's that those are had. the gains we get. Sure. He's Given tried- the government we have, we don't. We have to celebrate the lack. of... It's tough being a libertarian because you have to celebrate the slowing of progress right. as a right. win rather than actual demonstrable gains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Them gains, we don't, res- we don't get gains no, 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 as a no, libertarian. No. I respect gains. <laughs> Let me show you the – oh, damn, damn, son. Kat, you think that it's irrevocably damaged the, um, the, p- the way people f- will respect the office going forward? Just the office. Yes, for sure. You do? Yeah. Hmm. Do you not? I don't know. I can't tell. It's hard to say. I don't think. Here's the thing. I've only been alive for like. (laughs) One president? 19 years too long. (laughs) Right. Good one. I'm actually 20. No. Are you? Yeah. No. Yeah. Good one. Here's the thing. This is the biggest uh, mess of a presidency I've been alive for. I've only experienced. I've only. That's true. It's not a mess though because George Bush went through the same shit. Right. But here's the thing. I You don't. I was. Five when George Bush was in, in yeah. office, right? You I thought was in the third... tourists did nine eleven. Right, right. I was in third grade. Here's the, the thing: juice. for the, of course, I was born, I guess, in the last years of Bill Clinton's presidency. And yeah, I, but I, you weren't aware yet. I wasn't aware, and I really wasn't aware of George W. Bush. No, you wouldn't be. Like I don't remember have any recognition of Reagan or first Bush. Exactly. So really, the only two presidents that I have been aware of and I've followed were Obama and Trump. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Do you see the problem? Yin and Yang. Y- 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 Ebony so, and Ivory. Right. Oh, God. So, I don't know. It's like, you see, here's the thing. 
You don't know the, what to compare it to. I, I really don't. You have no point of reference. What I can what I compare it to is how much people in the history books respected people. But here's the thing. They I didn't, didn't. Exactly. Here's the thing. I, I always grew up thinking that Abraham Lincoln was the most respected president. He was murdered. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was hated. I mean, honestly, he... No one shredded the Constitution more trying to defend it than he did. Right. That's why he's such a conflicted individual. And here's the other thing. You know, growing up through the eight years of Obama, he was, and this isn't just because where, you know, my family or whatever, he was so hated. The Antichrist. He was the anti. Everyone hated him. You're one and two. Now all of a sudden, everybody loves him. Oh, yeah. Everybody nonstop talks about how amazing. He's their cool black friend. They say it's their best friend. Right. They tweet out, so many people I know tweet out pictures of uh, Obama and or Barack and Michelle Obama saying, couple goals AF. Like, come on. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. N- non-politically, they would be my first choice of people to hang out with, other than the current president. <laughs> right. uh, hands down, we would have a ball. Right. You wouldn't want to paint with George making... W. No. <laughs> come on. But Jebby. Jebby would be hanging out. <laughs> Little Jebby. <laughs> please clap. <laughs> Little Jebby. Uh, please clap. Yeah, please clap. But So do you understand what I'm saying? I do. I guess that's really tough. God, I forget you're so young, because it's... You have no point of so reference what am for I anything other than to? Obama and President Everyone Trump. Everyone hated Obama. Bill Clinton got his dick sucked in the <laughs> office. That yeah. didn't do anything about... I was two, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> I'm going to read the report. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, she still kind of doesn't. She's very innocent. No, I read that report, like the, in, like, the graphic I, report of that, and I was like... Off? When? Did, a couple, I don't know, weeks ago. Oh, okay. I thought like... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I was my. F- Honestly, can you judge me for thinking it might have been like a third grade project for you after right, what exactly. you did in middle school? Exactly. This no, is my but coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> I read that and I was shocked that they like released those that so many details. They dropped the deets. Woo! It's called Slick Willie's Coloring Book and it came with a blue crown and a <laughs> uh, <lab> as a dress. <laughs> oh my god! Now this is a different kind of graphic novel, kids. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, you know, it's it's interesting that in the history books, especially growing up in school, every pe- uh, president. You know, they don't really talk about the negatives. Well, those are propaganda. Well, yeah. I mean, history does its thing, which is, you know, it slowly moderates. And they say that a, po- a statesman is a politician that's been dead for 50 years. Yeah. You know, so, like, you're glorified as somebody that's as, as distinguished and, ha- you know, held with uh, the utmost esteem when at the same time you were one paying a reporter to say that your opponent, you know, <laughs> spent a little too much right. time tapping his feet in the men's room. Right. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know it. I thought that. Not only Abraham Lincoln, I thought that JFK was a god until I came on this podcast. And I really? The whole back. Oh, yeah. You don't like JFK? I'm a big JFK fan. No, I like him, but I didn't realize all he was. Things. She didn't realize he oh, was killed. Oh, his personal life. No, I knew he was killed. Like I the didn't... personal details the of personal his philandering and, and ladies' and, uh, man. And oh, oh, yeah. You didn't know that he was massively cheating on his wife? No. Wow. I mean, and his brother, too? Honestly, no, interesting. Like we're at, we're in a separate environment because we actually you know read articles and that kind of thing. We don't just read Wikipedia the That's breakdown. Right. And so if yeah. you live in the Wikipedia world, like the executive summary world, you would have no idea that you Jeez. know he was raw dogging randos and making interns you know service his right. fellow uh, administration officials. Well, and here's yeah. the other thing: when you know by the time I have kids, I bet you that they're in their history books. Obama is going to be a saint. He's going to be a god. He is going to be the best president this country has ever had. Absolutely. Hands down. No accomplishments. So if anybody out there is looking to be a surrogate mother or cat. LOL. And her girlfriend. Ew. Uh, <laughs> S- oh, scissor. So I, I'm shocked. So you think it's irrevocable. There's been, oh, at this point hurt. going Good. forward, the whole thing of, well, I well, I refuse to respect the office and basically the, tradi- the roles and customs and, you know, the – the traditions that they perform, the rituals, rather right. than... <laughs> um, she just spent some equipment. She just threw a temper tantrum. <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation that will better our podcast. <sighs> You're just now trying on yeah. your last day, <laughs> yeah. your last podcast. Literally. Jesus go Christ. On, go on. <laughs> now, I, don't, I'm, I, I hope it doesn't, because I, don't, I think if you get so cynical... You get to the point where you say, "Well, fuck it all. Nothing's going to make a difference," and that's no good because then you—that's the perfect cop out to not try. Right. To me, Trump. And I hate that. Trump shows that it actually still kind of works because right. Who else? It was best sign f- ever. Absolutely, and then that the will of the people matters. Trump had two percent with his bloodshot eyes and his <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> just fuck my shit up. I'm going to change it to ninety-five percent. Local man, ninety-seven. Yeah, I mean. And then Trump blows out Hillary Clinton. I mean, it's like, right? He won the election. So that, you're saying that should be a sign that it does change. 
if there was it, ever going to be how you want to look at it, but if there was ever going to be someone that's a wrench in the gear, it'd be him. But and no, what he's running into is a buzzsaw. He's been he's not a politician, and it's not. It's never meant to be. He's but not going to be a politician. But he had very limited political capital. He started behind the eight ball. There was no honeymoon phase. He started day one being accused of it. Was they even challenged the legality of the election and whether or not it was legitimate? Oh, right. I, I complete. Yeah, he's got everything going against him. And saying, but if there were ever a guy who had the mindset, the skill set, and the, the complete lack of shame in order to undergo all that in effect change. As an outsider, that's the only reason he did it. That's the why else would you run? Right, but I'm saying he has really run into a buzzsaw. Oh, the deep state has done persistent leaks to the point. I it's think, hard to. I think that he, has he no thought it was going to be easier than what it what it is. But you see how in, completely ineffective, and I think he controls is, all three branches of the freaking government. They can't pass health. They can't reform. do anything, and I think that this <laughs> they don't is want to. Such a great lesson for libertarians. Like, let's say Gary Johnson had won. He would be the most ineffective president of all time because there is no existing power structure, and even when you, you are, you have to tr- do trade offs. Though, uh, 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 well, and so I think it is the. Sorry, you threw me off. Um, sorry, I apologize. Uh, the what was they saying? I, it, Gary Johnson would run into a situation he where would he wouldn't be able to do what he saw. wanted. Like he has been a completely. Uh, uh, Donald Trump has been ineffective because he is not part of the swamp. And my fear is that, you know, the swamp will swing its way back, and they'll they'll win either in twenty twenty or twenty twenty four, but and continue to build the deep state, and continue to alienate us because that's kind of what they've always done. Donald Trump was the right impulse in smashing that, but was the wrong person to do it, and he is the first po- populist candidate. That in American history to ever win, there's a book called The Tragedy of William Jennings Bryant that you you could check out if you want to really read about like and somebody who ha- ran and served his government and continued and and did so much for his cause, even if libertarians would disagree with it and never achieved the presidency um, despite coming close. So you Donald Trump was a the perfect tabloid candidate in an era when tabloid is uh, so so hot right now. It's the only thing that captures attention <laughs> long enough to get noticed. Hell, he's been in the tabloid since the 80s. Of That's, course. Right. But I, I think that America really, and I think Americans should start studying British politics, and I'm going to more because I That's think... It. Yeah, I think that American politics is going to start becoming more like British politics where you just have this entrenched government that is just sort of flailing along and really doesn't have a ton of impact on the people's life because the bureaucracy is so horrible and the media is just so outrageous and focused on just tabloid journalism. And uh, I, I, and it just is all kind of inert. But then you also have these wild swings of passion where everything gets reformed. But again, nothing is permanent and everything can change. And I think that our goal as libertarians ought to be educating people to continue to uh so if and when things do collapse people choose freedom and continue the march towards freedom that we have experienced over the last thousand years uh away from totalitarianism and autocracy and that we continue to uh give ourselves more and more freedom but i think that at some point probably not in our lifetime but some point in probably the next century uh, there will be a very bloody struggle for liberty in the United States against the United States government. And I, I think Donald Trump is is just sort of the, the, the canary in the coal mine in my mind. He's the first sign of that. Yep, because he is he is someone who is so grotesque. <laughs> and he is someone that... So swollen. <laughs> he, is, he is someone that it... it I think that the American people have sort of – like I think that crowds work in the same way that kind of the body works. Mm-hmm. Like I think that uh, the, the American system, the American people have their own T-cells. And when somebody like a Nixon comes into office, it, it, everybody swarms and attacks them and pushes it out. When a, a it's a Trump, natural prevention system. A, a Trump comes in, the, the, the T-cells start pushing that out. Because if you really – if you watch a lot of documentaries or read about Putin, you see so many similarities between that autocratic mindset that Putin and Hitler and other totalitarian dictators have and the way that Donald Trump operates. 
And I think that he is our first kind of autocratic totalitarian president. And the American people have reacted to it so strongly to the point that even if they do think in some ways that they want to like Donald Trump. It feels good to not, want that strong man. But they're not going to say it. They're not going to go through the social shame because people are – people. I think the there's an unconscious crowd – system at work trying to push out the autocrat a the, political the immunity uh Im- system exactly of. right yeah no, that's a that's a really interesting perspective right there's sort of this natural disaversion to anything outside the norm once it is inside where you just they don't ever you know you have yeah. to be it's one bad skittle and you have to be so, overly preventative somebody Trigger! Yeah. somebody who smells like a dictator to the american spirit is absolutely untenable oh, it's antithetical to everything we've ever believed everything and so so we are willing to we are willing to entertain a hillary clinton who uh, who is one of the worst people to ever serve in american government in, not a great track record in both in both achievement and i think in character uh, I think uh, great in pantsuit, right? That is oh, where she excels. You know I right. love a good yeah, pantsuit. especially passing out. Yes, no, she. <laughs> I've I've said it a million times. Hillary Clinton, whoever dresses Hillary Clinton, does a good job. She she Ray is Charles. Moolock. She's a seventy year old woman <laughs> that that doesn't has hips like an angel. She, she doesn't, you know. So, anyways, well, you know I, she well, has a body double. Depends. You know she has a body double, right? Yes, and the the glasses and Parkinson's and Parkinson's and AIDS. I've seen the documents. Guru, <laughs> yeah. So I children. You don't. Th- so you're. I can tell. Like, there are a lot of facets for you that go into this. Like, one, you in- appreciate and enjoy the entertainment aspect of Trump. Absolutely, but that makes you feel like the fall of the Roman Republic. Like, I are l- you entertained? Uh, absolutely. I definitely feel that way. I, I like for me the most terrifying moment of the campaign. The only time that Trump has ever truly outraged me was when Donald Trump said, uh, I may or may not accept the results of the election. And for me, that was the first time that the legitimacy of the American Republic was questioned by a presidential candidate and the entire... The, uh, the whole uh, system's uh, based uh, on trust. Based on trust, and, the, and, and it was a very much a Caesarian moment in Roman history where, oh, like kind of exactly what I talked about earlier, mm-hmm. where if you don't like the government, you can just kind of step aside and just it, do something different like like we did with uh the american revolution we we challenge like, the legitimacy we can the challenge absolute. the legitimacy hold on let me finish this point and uh so that's the thing you hated the that was the thing that scared me it scared me that the republic was over and that we were heading towards uh a, a de facto dictatorship and eventually we get to a point where a putin can take over the united states and the presidency and the legislative branch is just a fake rubber stamp of what's happening. That's obviously not happening in our world today. <laughs> but Couldn't be less could, <laughs> what's happening. But it, it certainly could be the case in 50 to 100 years. Yeah, it sets the standard for that. And that was the first moment when the legitimacy of the republic was questioned. And the 5,000-year uh, the leap, as, uh, Cle- as Skuzin, Mark Skuzin, or Skousen, Skousen put it, 5,000 Year Leap is an amazing book. You should read it. And, and all that capitalism and that the United States Constitution have done to advance freedom and humanity, all of that was in, in question in that moment. And to my surprise, all of the people who were completely horrified and outraged by that comment by Donald Trump continued – to do exactly what he said he was going to do after he was elected <laughs> and have taken the Russian stuff where there is no smoking gun. Well, there is. It's just on the Democratic side. And yeah. have right, and they have absolutely diminished the republic for bullshit political, non-political gains even. And they have greatly hurt the, the republic, the presidency. And in some ways, I don't really care. But I also know that uh, this is a pretty stable, free society that we have. Listening to this podcast, you are in no danger. We are in no danger. Um, and the American Our listeners, the, the United <laughs> they States, are in danger. <laughs> the United States Use Constitution a affords that. So, Tad, you know, no, sorry. I was going to say that's 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 a axe that swings both ways right. because obviously after Trump won, it's Russia collusion. But <laughs> if you Department of Homeland Security actually intercepted 
voting machines trying to be hacked yeah, in dur- during Indiana. during the election. Indiana so, and Georgia specifically. So Donald Trump had a little bit of legitimacy yeah, to what I'd he agree. was saying, and I think he knew, and I think everybody tr- shit tried. Yeah, I mean it was like four or five states. Well, and then they were going to take the electoral system, voting systems, and move them under the Department of Homeland Security yeah, because of the worries safety. about security then, issues at a state. And who was run the who was running the department? But you also had the hanging Chad system in two thousand. I mean, it, it's all. Shit's always being questioned, and Donald Trump will say whatever the hell he wants just to get votes because it feeds to his base. But I still come out and say Donald Trump still won, and it it worked. I, the democracy is still there, whether or not you want to accept that he. Oh, I think the state of the American democracy is better off for Trump winning because it absolutely. shows the collective will matters. I, I, I just don't know that I, if there were ever going to be a wrench in the gear that could, you know, essentially. Fuck I shit think up, to me it also it shows him. It also shows that he's trying to. I absolutely believe that he's trying to do what he says he's trying to do. I don't. I don't see his, yeah. any, any 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 to other the agenda. Extent or, a politician does and or, can, and he can't get Obamacare passed when they have the entire the house. What the hell is going on? I mean, it's well, the house did their job. The Senate, yeah, McCain, whatever. It, it, they don't want to repeal anything. It's. To it, me, it's you got to talk into that microphone. The there, vested cowboy. interests are so entrenched. <laughs> that, absolutely. That, Literally voting on what your party believes guarantees you lose representing your party. It's, That's a pretty systemic uh, a level of – really just a level of ownership by outside interest that's stunning. To me, it's Where more you can a, be a member of a party, and if you vote for the position your party has held, you will lose. Right. It's stunning. A, I, I don't want to call it a deep state interest, but it's there's something there that's just – I don't think health care is deep state. I think healthcare is so complex and difficult with so many competing. Well, interests. just repeal it. It's, uh, it's it's trying to throw a hail mary, weave it behind the back, falling on your back leg out of bounds. That, that's that's why they hide behind everything, though. It's it's so complicated that but it's the, the only government interest. can only only the government can handle it. No, it can't. It's just the, the interests are so complicated and complex. I mean, you got you got Planned Parenthood, you've got uh, the medical device tax, you've got um, just people who don't want uh, grant research. Well, I mean. You're going to repeal it against the interests of the people who are your biggest donors for your pack? Absolutely. Well, either that or get voted the fuck out. Like, that's, that's your option. They both get the folk voted out. If you vote against the people that elect you, your donors, your financial backers, they'll back someone else to get you out because they'll always look for who they can buy. Okay. Well, then get them the fuck out of there. I, I mean, that's, that's my opinion. On I it. mean, term limits would be a way of looking at it, but you'd really just have a T... A the healthcare thing was set up. Well, the, yeah. the game of the healthcare thing was set up to fail anyway. I mean, you, people people love to talk about term limits, but that just completely empowers the bureaucracy. I it mean, just means that you have a, a, a batter's box where someone waits and they're already corrupt. Exactly right. So yeah, you can you're always looking for the next prospect. It's like uh, right. baseball or whatever. Different face, same thing. To, right. right. Term limits just <laughs> just give more Whiter power this time. to oh. the deep state. So better bow tie. Um, so John, who is John Kelly, the chief of staff that is is stepping in to take Ryan Priebus's place? At the end of the day, this is just a over. I mean, um, I can't remember how many stars does he have. Three, He's three star general. I, not, I mean, not that it matters, but he, he looks this, like he doesn't mess around. This guy's come in to right the ship. You know yeah. what happens if you have a like a, any kind of team sport or organizational chaos through um, two lacks of rules and enforcement, right? Where Overdo people have it. too much uh, free like. You know, too, too much, much free reign, too much right. freedom, way too much freedom in the Trump administration. Uh, we, we, we are libertarians does not like too much freedom. No. Fire up that freedom helicopter. around the old uh, ordered liberty uh, around the old bunker here <laughs> at the compound. And so he's the natural overcorrection of bringing in a guy that has consummate knowledge of systems, order of operations, discipline. It's going to work this way. There will be no equivocation on the line of command. And so he's the opposite previous, but he's right. not a consensus builder. Yeah, he's go- he sounds like he's going to act out the orders of the uh, the, the commander in chief. He's the law and order, you know, cabinet leader <laughs> uh, to an extent. I, I think mean, he's it's... what Trump needed all along. To be honest with you, he just wasn't. He wouldn't. Uh... Tad, oh. can you get the pizza, please? <laughs> Thank Am I hairy? You just ordered pizza? Am I that yeah. Damn? That's impressive. I didn't even know that was going on. <laughs> we we ate at noon, and we haven't eaten since. I don't, I don't know how you're not You didn't provide sustenance? That. No, I not yet. This guy with my pizza. Oh, <laughs> just, just sign my name. I've already paid for I it. might be. I don't know. You might be hungry. No, I don't feel hungry. Just for flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd well, find you. I want to make sure before you drive back that you have sustenance. 
Do your leader kind of benevolent? <laughs> well, I just I don't want her driving back, and it, you know it's an hour drive, and we haven't eaten all day, and I don't want her uh, leaving Crashing, hungry. Yeah. yeah, blood level or blood sugar levels exactly get low and right. pass out. So we <laughs> while she's rapping to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift only raps in Somebody one song. Order sausage pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just, just set, set it there in the kitchen for me, please. We're, uh, we're, we're about basically, to run, but. Uh, yeah. Wilson. I guess we really started out to do the good, the bad, and the ugly of Trump. The ugly is pretty self-explanatory. His right. skin, haha. <laughs> Hair, that's it. No, orange not... lives matter. Cat, quit being uh, racist. If more, like, okay, when people like talk bad about Donald Trump, like, please use anything else but his skin color and his hair. Like, right. It's so hack. Right. It's been done. It's been done. Nobody likes time. comedy. That's you know. It's been done for vintage. twenty years. Right. You know. I'm sure you know a lot about that. Ooh. I don't know what you're implying. I've made a joke twice. Um, the only joke here. that's been here twice is you. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been, I've been here oh, more shit. than twice. <laughs> Zing. I'm totally kidding. Yeah, because I've been here more than two times. Damn, <gasps> you got got, son. No. Remember that time yes, you had a witty comeback? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I always have. Perhaps witty you'll comebacks. find it on the drive back. No, 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 no. I always have witty comebacks. Here I've lies just... the plaque of cat getting rustled from no. last week. Uh... Speechless, red face, blushing and shaking like a snowflake. I have <laughs> never blushed in my life. You were beat red. No, I was maybe not, not beat you... blush. A minute, what was it? Minute forty-one. Uh, forty-one to forty. Minute forty-three to forty-five. She <laughs> was frantically trying to find it after the show. And she physically assaulted me with her <laughs> autism putty. <laughs> <laughs> she literally yeah. the camera and she flings it drills me on the, this cheek and i'm like i and, wasn't i was not goes, rustled you dick it's like when she when i it's like I, when I, I was like you know leader, you played are, softball professionally i was like dear leader are, are you all done recording he's like yep i just hit end and i was like <gasps> you monster <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 i annoyed her i annoyed her earlier and she took a a giant metal wand and threw it at <laughs> thousands of dollars of equipment <laughs> Oh, again, <laughs> too much freedom. No, I, no, that I'm loving the new cat. To be honest, this like, is honestly this is the real me. I just hiding it. I love it. Yeah, I, I, because the 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 volatility of cat anagnos, <laughs> like it's not a bad like cat. I was trying to people please, and now I'm not. I'm glad because I'm accepted yeah. by the it's, four best friends. She, the four listen, best friends. She's a cat in heat and on the prowl, and she's just <laughs> ready to tear up everything. Uh, no, so cat, yeah, cat is like a cat. Thou art woman, art thou art loose, and mm. like <laughs> loose. I don't know that loose. Uh, it was a <laughs> it was a movie from yeah. back in the day. Uh, no, what, like, in Shakespeare's day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a remake of Macbeth because with Samuel L. Jackson. Cat gets an annoyed. At, and <laughs> rolls her eyes and gets mad probably, I'd say, 20 times a day this week. More. More? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's just, there's always some irritation. She's very, she and I are so much like, it's very, like, I, I constantly am just getting irritated. I'm like, whatever. And My ir- plan get, is working. I just, no, I'm not, not at you. I'm just saying in life, at, in general, I just go, oh, fuck this. Fuck this motherfucker. Fine. Irritate. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. Like that meme of where you throw the papers in the air. It's it, Friday. Right, yeah. and it's actually Thursday, and you have to go back and pick them all up. <laughs> it, it, it's just one of those things where, like, thing happens. I want to murder you. I want to cut you up. This is feed. worse than the Holocaust. I want to feed you to your parents in Chile. You know. Scott Tenement. Zero to 100 pretty and then like and then and then she like just within not even 30 seconds is just like da 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 let yeah. me scat cat for you like she she it's Did so someone no, say no, scat no. cat yeah. oh, no. five six seven eight beep ba da ba I hate da, it da, da, da. I hate it this is my smooth jazz scat cat yeah ba ba be li di ba da da ba da beep ba 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 da ba da ba da ba beep ba boop all right you go ahead and cut that out. You should walk down the middle of the Jersey Turnpike. That's a good idea. <laughs> you should do the Jersey Turnpike. No, but uh, earlier on, Greg, I was implying that you uh, have no original humor. I don't. Right. Yeah. No. I don't at all. Mm. Really? Hmm. Hmm. It's all been done. Yeah. Oh, it's all been, yeah. It's all been maybe, great artist steel. Maybe uh, maybe later, Greg, on her Facebook wall, you should show, show her some original art. Never forget. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, Greg, what I meant was you're so <laughs> No, original. no, no, no. I can make the private submission public. I don't, oh, wait. I don't. I don't. I really don't remember. You've got it some was. roommates that I'm sure are big fans of artwork as well. I'd be happy to show them some of my character work. Oh, we haven't even gotten to sharing memes with her. Roommates. How you like me now, hun? How you like me now? See, all of a sudden that joke didn't sound so funny, did it? Here's here's what I had to try to explain to her yesterday. I said, "Cat, 
Greg and I don't have limits. Tad doesn't have limits. We no have limit, ge- baby. We have just decided to live this way, and we have never looked back. I I am com- more, I'm probably more <laughs> considerate of others' feelings than Greg when when trolling. Greg- I, I really have tried to be good about never engaging anyone. Only the only time I troll is if you engage me. Right mm. now, Trump's. Uh, Damn right. I do it out of anger. Greg does it out of fun. love. I do out it out of love. love. Really? Oh yeah. But you, my dear, mm-hmm. you still have things to lose. Yesterday she goes, you don't understand. I have more to lose than you do. I go, no, you don't. Laughs an intern. <laughs> right, laughs. No, I have more things to lose in the sense of. Like social networks. Like, boy, your yes. car keys. Right. Yeah. I lost the day. No, no, no. I, I, I get what you meant. Not because, like a dro- like Because over the last two years, I've kind of, everybody settled into me just being a shit poster. And you still have. 20 year old college girls that right. right that you can throw on developers. It actually walls. makes you more popular cuz they're always going to be talking about But you. <laughs> he's not wrong. What? Trust me. How do you think I get millions of listeners in Turkey? Yeah. I shooting Russian ambassadors. You're damn right. It goes, and then doing the <laughs> Travolta pose. You, you, <laughs> you you still don't share those photos. Don't do this. There's still limits. Greg has no <laughs> limits. They're I'm saying I'd already been on the Instagram account. <laughs> oh, thank you for listening to We Are Libertarian. You started it. I did, I was nothing but supportive and kind, mm-hmm. and you went there. I wasn't even going to bring up about how you were speechless and got so rustled. You had to go, you know, talk to a counselor. <laughs> I, did not, I did not talk to a counselor. Oh, he hurt my feels. It oh, honestly, I had the perfect comeback. It was <laughs> honestly feet. the first time we've ever had the crisis. I mean, we have a crisis counselor after every episode. Is the first person to ever use it was Cat. I know they just sit on the couch bored. Well, right. She was thought it was some huge thing. Huh? Take a number. Uh, <laughs> mm. Do you know how many women hate Greg Lynn? Oh, I don't hate Greg. Oh, you don't? No. Oh. You're Greggy. This I is new. You. Give him a hug. A oh, Greggy. hug, a warm a one. The Greek armpit again. Oh, my God. Oh. He's wearing light. Can you please keep your tzatziki sauce off of his shirt? I just he have. smells like garlic and cucumber. People are going to ask me if I just got the axe lays. <laughs> Did you eat a pita pit? <laughs> yeah. Why do you smell like tzatziki? <laughs> Because it's made I went to dinner love, with Chloe right? last night. It's lingered. Oh, yeah. It's you had with dinner love. with Chloe. Oh, very fun. Very fun time. Many, right. many, many, many. I always have a great time with Chloe and Agnes. You got Greek two not nights Ky- in a row. Not Kyle Pierce, though. I do. I love Kyle, too. I love Kyle. Like, they are so much. I really have a great time with them just hanging out. Oh, and we fun. told so many stories that can never be repeated. Ooh. And now, it was hilarious. How tucked in was Kyle's shirt? <laughs> um, he is very business casual. Leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> He's. I just have never seen anybody tuck in a shirt that aggressively before. It's not so much that it's that. Does he tuck it in, then iron it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're tucked. What, you never done that? How, why would you do that? You? Yeah. <laughs> you it's not use, flat. You just use a steam. Well, it is if you got to ask. No, well, okay, I mean, well, honest to God, well, I have put a shirt on and then ironed the bottom. This hard Swear body. to God. I've, like, held it out. Uh, okay, like the, but see, the, like, that makes sense, because you're not going to burn yourself like oh, the gotcha, steamer. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. Dude, this, I have My a fault. steamer. The steamer is so hot. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nothing. I'm a man. Wee against the wall. <laughs> oh, I had to say something that wasn't in the microphone. Greg and I have a war going on. It's fine. Cat and I declared a truce. We it's did. Just, right. Cause uh, li- uh, listen, here's the thing. I think that wall is with- better... Together than divided. I think we all need to unite together against, you know, the atheist Bittner. podcast. I believe in separate but equal and coexisting. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Final thoughts. Free Palestine. Let's uh, let's wrap up. <laughs> Greg, uh, I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You didn't. Don't. Never hurt don't, don't, don't ever. Because Cat Cat is totally OG. A hand hug. Wait, Greg has hug. huge hands. I'm giving in. Now you have to hug me with your phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> hand hug. This is great. Greg and I just Winning. did a hand hug. This is insane. He was sweaty. Yes. <laughs> I'm nervous because you keep hugging me, and I have a thing about being touched. <laughs> right, right. Sorry. Methodism. I don't like to be handed things. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Tad has just been brushing himself like a horse the entire <laughs> freaking podcast. <laughs> I'm honestly a little freaked. It's, it, there's a little red in that beard. Yeah, I was I'm a fucking pirate. That. That's all the Except Captain the... Morgan I've drank over the years. It's coming out my beard. Mm. That's interesting. You're very Italian, so that would that's not normal. I've got gray hair. I feel like too. you might be you a mutt. I'm stressed out. <laughs> all right, ranch. You know, ranch sales are down. Greg, final thoughts. Uh, I I mean, really, this was going to be an assessment. At the end of the day, for Trump, um, it's it's impossible to talk about him in the aggregate. You have to break it down, and there are elements we love that are from an entertainment aspect that we shouldn't. 
What is going on? We're, we're just reading the know. comments. Let me see. Somebody said, is it called a Cleveland steamer? <laughs> What yeah, is what? He, uh, you're welcome. Tad's, Tad's iron is called the Cleveland Steamer. <laughs> oh, God. Very funny. That explains the stains. I explained <laughs> to her what a Coney dog was the other day. Chili. Chili dog. I know what a chili... Oh. The oh, chili, dog. chili dog. <laughs> Context specific. Chili. So like, I've eaten those before. I hate chili dogs. <laughs> Very progressive. Have you uh, ever played the rusty trombone? That sounds awful. Do you know what it is? I don't want to know. And here's right. Greg, final thoughts. No, 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 come here. I'm going to whisper it in your ear. No. No, come here. That was the most repulsive thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Have you ever heard the song Poo Poo Train by Bill Station? No. <laughs> Anyways, Greg, final thoughts. <laughs> She has no appreciation for she the, fine the arts. He was in an the R&B arts. boy group in the late or the early aughts. I'm not gonna lie. I ca- can I use the brush? Oh my god! I yeah. What are you gonna try. brush with it? My, I got a little beard. His butthole hair. Keep, <laughs> it, <laughs> keep it off. No, right. that's braided like Serena Williams. Pu- dude, this is the most. It's the most relaxing thing it of looks, all time. It honestly looks. It's for a baby, dude. Can I actually Holy. use it real quick? For your. As long as you don't pee on it. Oh, I had to mark it somehow. <laughs> All right. I might put it on eBay then. Honestly, I'm getting Mr. One of these. Kelly, hit me up. Isn't I'm that so? T- t- it feels so I'm good. I'm telling you, you'll See, be able to buy, buy those child, on my website. If you buy a baby brush, you're creepy. Dad yeah. buys it, he's like borderline creepy. That's right. how you get on a website with the a creepiest thing search with, addresses. The creepiest red thing red was do check. It, just do it right here on your cheek. The creepiest thing was checking no, out because all I had was here, beer, diapers, and that because I was Doesn't going to a diaper party. Dude, they're so expensive. Fuck yeah, they are. I'm never having kids. <laughs> Abortions That's are way, way cheaper than that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I know. It is. Honestly, get you a baby brush and start brushing your beard. You're Everybody brushing thinks I'm babies. crazy. And when you buy it at the checkout, they're like, oh, is this for your, your child? And say, nobody loves kids. Well, I haven't acquired a <laughs> No, it's yet, not but... my child. It's <laughs> not yeah. my child. All you right. know one? Tad's a trendsetter. That's the all. only thing standing between me and pizza is you motherfuckers. All right, final thoughts. Greg. <laughs> Nope, good show, Cat. Thanks for joining. You've been a wonderful contribution. You've made it more entertaining. Um, We're gonna miss you. I've already <laughs> said this before, as you pointed out, so that surely isn't new to hear. Um, but yeah, uh, look forward to. I know it's probably going to be more intermittent, but uh, come back when you can. Oh man, you should have said Itter Kenton. And always great to have the legend, Tad mm-hmm. West. And I'm pissed I didn't get a premium toothpick. Honestly, I've got I've got I've got them in my car. I apologize. I want to thank everybody for having me on. I mean, yeah, it's great. We got the Tad it's, bump. It's, uh, it was honestly great to do a duet scat with Cat yeah. in the hat. That was great. It's the best way to play scat is yeah. in a duet. Do up, do 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 Tad scat. Yeah, it's the old Tad scat. Oh my gosh. Scat Tad. Scat Tad. Scat Cat. Tataroo. No, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this... Tickety tickety talk. I've actually prepared okay, cool, something cool. for everyone. Oh boy. Hold on, I wasn't give... done. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Anyway. Tad. Yeah. I, I, just, I it's been a while since I've been here. Is there a new another cruise on the horizon? Another mm-hmm. Tad cruise? Well, not in the sense of going out hunting for gay men, but maybe <laughs> in the ocean. Yeah, we'll go. Well, according we'll to go Spangles cruising. Facebook, half yeah, of them I know, ready. I know. He's been giving me the eyes. But all where night. do you sit? It's oh. just the it's the beard is so luscious and so. Well Don't grown. you just want to sit on it? <laughs> <laughs> I know all the listeners do. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go. That Did you just far. call him a beard? No. <laughs> anyway, I listen. Hop on the Tad train, cat. Come on. Come no. on. Er- Come on, ride the train. The Tad Quad City train. DJs. So anyways, Come I just really wanted train. to say that. <laughs> 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 Come on, y'all didn't do the train? <laughs> Quad City DJs, man. Rec night, eighth grade. Tad talk back again. <laughs> do you do any jock jams? Oh, yeah, jock jams. That's what I come... I listen to jock jams, like, 1995, before I do every podcast. That's why my TAD talks are so Ladies high. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, at like... six feet one from Martinsville, Indiana. <laughs> old, old Gary Glitter with his baby brush over there. On his horse, Liberty, and falling behind him real close is Justin. TAD! <laughs> Hang a Chad Wester. Ooh. Come on, ride the jam. Yeah. You know, weirdly, anyway. TAD reminds me of myself. Oh, uh, y- Yes. I think that's Deep. why we're destined, my friend. De- deeply emotionally disturbed. We're holding hands. Oh, you feel that team. energy, baby? <laughs> yeah. Right in front of Greg's face. You just got the tad bump. Cat. <laughs> got a tad bump. Cat. Final thoughts. Yes. Um, how often? You. How often will you be joining us now that you're going back to school? No, I'm going to try and make it every single uh, week. I already do know the week of sorority recruitment will not be able to be on. They use you, huh? What? Why don't oh, you come up. on to do I'm brand ambassador? <laughs> you, you will not be joining us next week. No, I'm on vacation next week, and then 
We will have the entire cast of the Boss Hog of Liberty. Yeah. Joining. Uh, oh, I... You thinking about it? How many people? J- it'll be Jer and Dakota. Two man. My son. Ooh. I might. I might. That, yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, I won't be able to be on. I don't think the week, of, like the first. The Bittner week. Third week of August, I think. And yep. like the, uh, for probably the first week of September. Make notes, people. Yeah, make notes. Those the will be the starting. best episodes. But I think starts. that I think the people are, are happy to hear that you're going to be coming down and you're going oh, to be committed. Yeah. So. Well, I just wanted to say thank you, brothers. Tad over there, your large wing. No, this has been a lot of fun. I've never had any experience with like audio or video or anything like that and just being being able to like do the podcast not just for comedy stuff but slowly but surely like starting to understand and like learning all about the uh, like political side just asking questions super interesting i'm gonna go back to school and be so woke you're gonna be dropping truth yep. bombs like alex jones so in many. a pool oh yeah no no one will be comfortable on that campus I, right and, and i just you know being protective of cat and greg as well please stop sliding in the dms just post it on wall so everybody can see what you're up to you creeps oh no no um <laughs> but also just thank you i've gotten so much support from like listeners and yeah. viewers it's ridiculous like you would think people would you know say die slut you're unfunny um <laughs> which you, if you my think message that, is, please you haven't been getting my messages no. <laughs> <laughs> did i write that twice <laughs> <laughs> you 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 like uh, finish what you're saying no i'm just saying like the amount of support like just private facebook messages just saying you know, loved you on the show. Like, I hope you, you're still coming. Like, that's awesome. And that just, you know, the the hour drive down here is not that hard. I mean, it's an hour, but just feeling well, like people is. want, <laughs> like feeling like people want me to be keep coming on, even though I'm just they a 20-year-old college student. It's very incredible. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I have a few dates I won't be on, so those will be the best dates. But of course, we're the three best friends. We're the three best friends. So yeah, I mean, she's making a commitment to be here, and uh, you know, just like I said earlier, the, the the thing that keeps us motivated, Greg and I, to keep doing this, to keep me, to keep spending ten to twenty hours a week or more to do this, is the feedback that you guys get. So if you think Kat's been great on the show, tweet at her, Instagram her. Snapchat or Facebook or just uh, hit her up and just uh, give her a, a word of encouragement because we'd love to keep Cat around. And see her at Ball State, come up behind her and lick her neck and tell her how funny she is. Yeah, <laughs> just blow on her ear. She loves oh, that. Oh, great. You're so funny. And if you think I'm terrible, Wanna please me. tell me. Uh, yes, now you. And thank you, boys, for taking me under your wing. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Well, Here's court order community freezing. service. So. I'm a vampire. My God, you have the coldest hands. Spangle just wants to hold my hand. <laughs> uh, Kat, you, uh, you honestly, do you feel better about Tad? You, you honestly hated Tad. Oh, yeah. So I Why, hated... oh, Wait a minute. You hated me? Oh, you God. said I had flabby arms one time. <laughs> that, when was that? At the pop Was that the pop convention, pool? <laughs> the pop convention yeah. picture? I told you that she and I are so much alike. Um... Absolutely. You both have flabby arms. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just the fact that, like, one <laughs> comment on social media eight weeks ago. Hope he gets Holocaust. I, <laughs> listen, what? I that person said I was slightly overweight. I don't want to say that I want them to get cancer. I just want it to be in the brain and dead. And right. Deadly. Right. Yeah, right. I, you take that back by John McCain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, w- I had, you know, it all started the first episode I came on. Uh, he was wearing your Tad Western shirt, and I called him out for it. Um, About what? Well, he How was trying to give no, no, no. He was trying to give me like fashion advice, and I said, "You're wearing a t-shirt Emoticon. with an emoji <laughs> on it." And he was like, "This is Ted." Whatever. That's when the whole beef started. And then you know, at the first wall party, you said hello to me. Um, hello. Right, just like that. Hello. And then you know, then the third time I knew you, you just said I had flabby arms, and so I was like, "Wait, wait, wait!" Oh. And you also are Pop-con. kind of a, you're a kind of a dick. When was I ever a popcorn? You saw the picture you Spangle the picture. put of her standing in the empty auditorium. Yeah, and I'm very muscular for a woman. <laughs> Trust me, she told me all about it before I, we started trivia. I must trivia. have been really shit faced that night because I have no oh, regulation. Really? Oh, <laughs> that's sure the thing about Tad. T- no, Tad does this. You don't realize. You should see what he posts to troll people in like groups at, late at night. Eighty five percent of my life, I've been blackout drunk. He's <laughs> a walking <laughs> hate crime. <laughs> so you know, just those three experiences. I, I, you know what though? I can tell you've been working out a little bit. Yeah, ever since your flabby. comments, they've yeah, she's been doing push ups. <laughs> See, it's motivation through shaming. That's we true. need more shaming. People. <laughs> that's how uh, I've turned in. That's how my dad turned me into the man I am today. <laughs> I Just, know. You know. Look at you. You got a podcast, and you I got know. pizza got that's getting cold in there. No, but uh, Tad, I am a fan. Well, I'm thank actually you. a fan. Well, download the podcast and then uh, <laughs> become a Taddict. What sorority are you in? I will tell you off air. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, come on. Just have Kappa, them all Kappa, at Kappa, me. Kappa, right? Um, AOPI. I, oh. I, do, uh, Ada, Ada I do I do private shows really cheap. Oh, like, I'll come and I'll <laughs> I'll do a Tad Talk live from the uh, Delta Zeta house or wherever. Yeah. <laughs> All easy, right. deasy. easy deasy. Easy deasy. So, yes, They're please. Nice people. <laughs> At Cat Anagnos on everything. Yes, please. Give thank, me attention. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here on this episode of We Are Libertarians. Uh, yes. What? I'm... I'm being kind of benevolent, no, no, allowing no. her to do I, what I would usually closing. do. No, 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 no. Oh, we never have, mind. We have a new closing. Sorry for assuming your closing. Keep them bolstered. <laughs> that, that Unless we, you're ready for a shootout. I, I <laughs> Listen, Dear Leader is a, also, not only is he a generous and thorough provider of many things, food, love, love, <laughs> sex, oh. uh, beef, spade kitties. <laughs> yeah, uh, podcast. I've graduated my internship. I've received an A plus, and now I got my own ending remark. And, and I'm also a mediator. Okay, yes. and uh, and both Cat and Greg are both very important to me. Uh, Greg Seems. more important, but still, Cat <laughs> is very still very much important Thank to you. me. Uh, Trust me, she's more concerned. You know. With her self confidence, go ahead and tell her she's important. Oh. She needs. It. <laughs> I'll be fine. Oh, Greg is gonna get it when the show is over. God damn, that was a direct hit. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my battle, cat. That, that, that was, was mean. That was a fucking sniper shot right to the self esteem. Two scoops, two shots. <laughs> oh, you are going two to get you like a third gender. <laughs> uh, I'm a mediator, and Cat just you know, Cat's been a good influence on me, and I hate it. She's made me soften on Bittner. Uh, he's coming on on August 17th. She's, uh, because he's a nice man, and I told Spangle to be nice to him. Listen, we are trying to make each other better Christians. We're accountab- accountability buddies. Mm-hmm. This is our second chance to infect him with the diabetes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so when she looks at me with those cartoon eyes and says, May I have my own closing, too? <laughs> I, 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 I can't. I can't but help. Give give uh, my little buddy her own closing. Thank you. So uh, I'll tell you when, Thank you. and then and then we'll do the regular normal closing after that. Uh, oh, no, no, so, no, 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 seriously. Let her. No, 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 no. Seriously. No, we, no. This is how it's gonna work, right? Well, you've got it worked out. No one's listening. Got a whole right thing now, anyway. Exactly. Everybody, just everybody, stick to your roles. Okay. Stay in line. Shut your mouth this and is know it. your roles. Show night. Thank you. Family so- provider. Masculine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on this episode of We Are Libertarians. Uh, just to reiterate, we thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, you guys are so great to us. If uh, Again, if you could just make a cash donation, that would really help me get some software that I need to, uh, to, to, to finalize some paperwork, some legal stuff, some uh, software that we need to buy so I can finish out a couple things uh, just as generously as you guys have helped us finish out our equipment. Big things planned at We Are Libertarians. Uh, people that I'm going to hire, <laughs> not any of these people, <laughs> but uh, actual professionals uh, to, me, baby. to help do uh, <laughs> to help do a few things. So again, you. <laughs> your donations at PayPal or Patreon at WeAreLibertarians.com are so helpful to us, and we appreciate you so much. So thank you for joining us here on this episode of We Are Libertarians. Beep bop diddly do. And as always, we promise. I'm literally... Keep holster unless Greg. you're ready for a shootout. Please. No, no, no. As always, we promise... Greg, stop it. I'm being a gentleman. To do better next time. No, 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 no. That's not how this is supposed a to beep, work. Bop, bidoop, bidoop. Dear leader is unhappy. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it right. Redo, remix. Do your, do your, um, you know, your soft clothes, and then I'll do the hard clothes. <laughs> Sorry, I cracked myself up. <laughs> Dear leader is not happy. <laughs> Points at table. I, literally, I, literally just... I didn't know if you meant at us or that literal spot on the on the table. No, he's, I, pressed, he's pressing his nuke button. Over yeah. there. He's like, I literally, in. I literally Gas. took my I literally took my index finger finger pointed down like I was pushing a button and said, "Dear leader is." Hope not happy. <laughs> it, it was the hand beam in real life. <laughs> and Greg immediately knew I was serious and Kat lost her shit. <laughs> so, so yeah, thank you for joining us here on this episode of We Are Libertarians. And as always, we promise to do better next time. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, uh, bop, bop, bibbity boop. 